We need philosopher leaders. We need leaders who spend time thinking about what kind of society should we be trying to build in Africa. The decision to build a new university came from many conversations I had in Ghana. At the time, only about 5% of individuals between the ages of 18 and 25 went to college. And so you could predict what the future of this country would be. And I felt if we could change how the, that future leadership core is educated, then we change a nation. Born and raised in Ghana, Patrick Alwa left for the United States in 1985 to study engineering. After graduating, he began a successful career at Microsoft. After working at Microsoft for a year, I made my first trip back to Ghana. I was very disillusioned by the fact that people were afraid of the government. There was no freedom of speech. And there really didn't seem to be a lot of reason to hope for a brighter future in the country. And I returned back to Seattle. I moved forward with seeking a permanent residency uh, in the United States. Um, and I walked away from Ghana. When my son was born, suddenly everything changed. I felt I can't, I can't say that I will never go back to Ghana. In fact, it is my responsibility to go back for the future generations. Convinced educating young ethical leaders is the way to transform Ghana and the African continent, Patrick Awa founded Ashesi University in 2002. It started with 30 students. Today, the campus welcomes 864 students from all over Africa, and by 2020, it will accommodate over a thousand. One day, I stumbled on the words of Goethe, and it said, whatever you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius power and magic in it. And so I said, we should call this university the beginning, and so we chose a fancy word, a chassis, which means beginning for that reason. But also we felt that it, it was just a perfect message to leave for the future. When I came for the interview, Patrick explained to me actually what his vision was, what the mission of a chassis was, and I bought into that dream, knowing to serve the interests of my children, to serve the interests of my great-grandchildren, and to serve the interests of uh, Ghana. Committed to his vision of living and learning in an equal society, Patrick Alwa makes sure ethnic, gender, and economic diversity is achieved on campus by providing financial support to half of the student body. One of the things that's been central to everything we do at Ashesi is this idea of educating people who are critical thinkers and who are ethical and compassionate. We've done that a number of ways. One is to have a multidisciplinary curriculum. We also did something that I think was incredibly important, which is to invite students to own a culture of integrity on our campus. So many students come here having seen corruption happening and feeling that corruption is just a way of doing things. And so this really challenges them to think differently. In 2008, they enacted an honor system here. It was the first honor system in Africa where the students promised two things. One, we will take individual responsibility for being ethical. And two, we will take collective responsibility for holding to account those who don't behave ethically. The vision of leadership and raising a generation of young people who can lead Africa ethically was what really appealed to me. There's one problem that Africa has been facing for such a long time, and that's the issue of brain drain. Having a chassis in Africa means we can learn everything that the world is learning, but in a way that helps and builds Africa. Ashesi is a beacon of hope in the whole of Africa. All of Ashesi's graduates have found quality jobs, and 90% of them chose to stay and work for the progress of Africa.